What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets with Rob. Before I get into the options the Mets have with left-handed relievers on the free agent market, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button. And if you want more Mets news and updates, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get right into the left-handed relief market. After the Mets struck out on Brad Hand, there are a few options that I chose that I looked at on the free agent market that are left-handed that I think the Mets will focus on. The very first guy, we know him very well, Justin Wilson, who, as you all know, was a solid Met for the past two seasons and is probably the most likely option for the Mets bullpen as a left-hander in this coming season. In 2019, Justin Wilson had an ERA of 2.54 in 45 games. And last season, in a shortened season, he pitched in 23 games with a 3.36 ERA. And to make it more known, I feel like the Mets are most likely going to go this route with Justin Wilson. Uh, and this actually uh, verifies it that uh, John Heyman also said that the Mets uh, still like Justin Wilson, and it is a serious option for the Mets in the bullpen. Another option that I chose uh, for another left-hander is Jose Alvarez. Who is he? Well, he pitched for the Philadelphia Phillies the last two seasons, and he pitched pretty well for them. Uh, he pitched. Uh, he had a 1.42 ERA in 2020, and in 2019, he had a 3.36 ERA in 67 games for the Phillies. He pitched pretty well for them, and he was one of the better pitches for them the last two seasons. It is an option. I'm not sure if they're going to go that route. But, again, I feel like this is another option if they happen to not get Wilson, and maybe that's one of the other relievers they are looking at. The third option is Sean Durul. We do know him from the Nationals. Obviously, he was the closer for the Nationals. Uh, it is an option, but... I don't believe he's going to be a big uh, choice for the Mets, but I just think that he's one that stands out because we know him pretty well. Uh, he wasn't good the last two seasons for the Washington Nationals. He had a four ERA in 2020, in 2019, and in 2020 he had a six ERA. So he really didn't pitch well. It seemed like after the, his all-star season in 2018, he completely diminished and he lost his stuff. He just wasn't good. So I don't think he's one of the bigger options on the Mets, but he's definitely an option. And we know he can pitch in the later innings, as we've seen with the Nationals, even though he hasn't pitched well. And the fourth guy and the last guy that I want to really focus on is our good old friend, Oliver Perez. So as we know, Oliver Perez, he was a former Met. He started for us, pitched okay, but then he went really downhill. And then he found himself uh, later in his career as a bullpen guy. And was he good? The last three seasons for the Cleveland Indians, in 2018, he had a 1.39 ERA in 51 games. In 2019, he had a 3.98 ERA in 67 games. And last year, he had a 2 ERA in 21 games. So Oliver Perez, I think, is 1A when it comes to a lefty reliever in the bullpen. He's more of a specialist now because he, he pitched uh, mostly with left-handed batters at the plate. But because of the three-batter rule, he had the pitch against right-handers. And, and you can tell his ERA is still very good. I think he's a option behind Justin Wilson because I still think Oliver Brest can still be effective at the age of 39, and I still think he can get lefties out of his age. I think that's one of the interesting options, and I know that we all know Oliver Perez, but, I mean, he's been really solid for the Cleveland Indians the last three years. So those are the, the free agent left-handed relievers on the market that I've chosen and I wanted to, to focus on. Uh, they're probably a good chance that Justin Wilson will be a New York Met. It just seems like the Mets are going to go that route. And they do like them. Sandy does like them. So it, it's pretty good. You know, there's mutual interest. So it's probably not going to cost a lot of money. And 
I think that Justin Wilson can still be good probably on a two-year deal. So, guys, uh, that was the four guys that I chose that I focused on in a reliever free agent market that are left-handed. I want to thank you guys for watching. Once again, don't forget to press the like button. And if you enjoy my videos, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and let's go Mets.